fifth grade, chapter one, lesson six. Multiply by one digit number. Unlock the problem. Each day, an airline flies nine commercial jets from New York to London, England. Each plane holds 293 passengers. If every seat is taken on all flights, how many people fly on this airline from New York to London in one day? So first of all, they want us to estimate. So they want us to take 293 times 9. And then they went ahead and estimated 293 to 300 times 9. So 3 times 9 is what? 27. And then we need to add 2 zeros. So our answer is 2,700 for our estimate. Then it says multiply the ones. So they said nine times three would be what? Twenty-seven. So we'd have twenty-seven ones. So they put a seven in the one spot and carried the two. Okay. And we'll add that in here in a second. They said um, nine times nine ten, or nine times nine ten equals what? Eighty-one tens. But then we had carried the two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we have 81 tens plus two tens, which equals 83 tens. So they wrote the three and carried the eight. Then we go down to the hundred spot. They say nine times two hundreds, hundreds equals what? 1800 or 1800s, and then they add a regrouped hundred. So we had 1800s plus 800s equals 2600s. So um, then on that one, since we have no more numbers to multiply, we can just go ahead and write 26, correct? Okay. All right, so in one day, what do we get for our answer? 2,637 passengers fly from New York to London. How can you tell if your answer is reasonable? We can tell that our answer is reasonable because 2,637 is close to 3,000. Example, a commercial airline makes several flights each week from New York to Paris, France. If the airline serves 1,978 meals on its flight each day, how many meals are served for the entire week? So multiply a greater number by a one-digit number. Repeat the process of multiplying and regrouping until every place value is multiplied. So first of all, once again, they want us to estimate. So we're going to estimate 1,978 to... 2,000, so 2,000 times 7, so 2 times 7 is 14, and then add 3 zeros. 8 times 7, so what is 8 times 7? 56. 56, so they said that would be 56 ones, so we put a 6 and carry our 5. Then it says we have 7 times 7, 10, so what is 7 times 7? 49. So it says that they'd have 49 tens. And then it says to add the regrouped tens. So we had 49 tens plus 5 tens equals 54 tens. <coughs> so then you would write a 4 in the 10 spot and regroup the 5. So then we move to the hundreds. So they say they said 7 times 9 hundreds equals how many hundreds? 63 hundreds. Now, it says add the regrouped hundreds. So we said we had 63 hundreds plus the 5 that we regrouped. What would that be? 68. 68 hundreds. So we write the 8 and carry the 6. Now we're moving to the thousands place. So 7 times 1,000 gets us 7 thousands. Now we need to regroup again because we had put another number up in, in our thousands place. So we have 7,000 plus the 6,000 that we need to regroup with. So that equals 13,000. And in this case, 
we would just be able to directly write it, correct? Okay, because do we have any other place values that we need to go to? No. So in one week, 13,846 meals are served on flights from New York to Paris. All right, Sharon, show. So first of all, they would like us to complete to find the product. And first of all, they would like us to do the estimate. So six times 796. So they want us to take six times. What would be a good estimate for 796? 800. 800. So I'd write 800 on my paper. Six times eight is? 48. 48. And add? Two zeros. Two zeros. Oh, and I put my comment in the wrong spot. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to add my two zeros and then put my comment in. So that's my estimate. Now they want us to find the actual answer. So they took six times six and got 32. And then put the six down here and carried the three. Then they took nine times six and got 54. And then added their three to get 50. Seven. So they put the seven, carried the five. Now we need to finish it out. So six times seven is? 42. 42 plus three is? 45. 45. So our answer is? 4,576. Now is that answer close to 4,800? Yes. Yes. And I accidentally said to add three and it should have been to add Five, so this shouldn't be 45, it should be 47. Okay, so then now we're going to go down and do our own problems. So they want us to estimate, then find the answer. So what am I going to round 600 to? 608 to? 600. 600. So right here, I'm going to show a little bit of work and write 600 times 8 equals. 4,800. 4, so that's going to be one of my problems. All right. Then I'm going to take 8 times 8, and I'm going to have what? 64. 64. So I'm going to put a 4 in my 1 spot, carry my 6 to my 10 spot. 6 times, or er, 8 times 0 is? 0. zero. Plus six is six. six. Do I have anything to regroup this time? No. no. Eight times six is? 48. 48. And I can just go ahead and write it down here, right? Because yeah. I don't have any more place values to go to. So is 4,864 comparable to 4,800? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one. What am I going to estimate 556 to? 600. So 600 times 4 equals, what's 4 times 6? 24. And add 2 zeros. So my estimate is 2,400. Okay. Then 6 times 4 is what? 24. 24. So I put a 4 in my 1 spot and I carry my 2. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 2 is 22. So I put a 2 and I carry my 2 to regroup. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 2 is 22. So my answer is? Now is that close to 2,400? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So estimate. So 1,925. What are we going to estimate that to? 2,000. So we're going to write 2,000 times. What's our whole number? Seven equals. So seven times two is. 14. 14. And we're going to add how many zeros? Three. One, two, three. <coughs> so then, 
Seven times five is thirty-five. Thirty-five. So we're gonna put a five, and we're gonna carry the three. three. Seven times two is fourteen. Plus three is seventeen. Seventeen. So put a seven. Carry the one. Seven times nine is fifty-three. Plus one is fifty-four. So put a four and carry the six. Seven times one is seven plus six is thirteen. Okay, so on your own, you guys are going to do five through ten with a partner, and then once you get done, we are going to go over them together. All right. Go ahead and mark off 11 through 18, and then the only time we'll do those is if I think you're having trouble, then I'll give you guys some extra problems to help you have a little more practice, okay? Problem solving, what's the error? The Plattsville Glee Club is sending eight of its members to a singing contest in Cincinnati, Ohio. The cost will be $588 per person. How much will it cost for the entire group of eight students to attend? Both Brian and Jermaine solve the problem. Brian says the answer is $40,074. Jermaine's answer is $4,604. Estimate the cost. A reasonable estimate would be, so what would we estimate 488 to? Not 488, 588. So we'd have 600 per person and 8 students, right? So we do 600 times eight. So what would that be? So six times eight is forty-eight and add two. So our estimate would be four thousand eight hundred. So um it says although Jermaine's answer seems reasonable, neither Brian nor Jermaine solved the problem correctly. Find the errors in Brian and Jermaine's work, then solve the problem correctly. All right, so let's look at the problem. So let's look at Brian. So eight times eight is 64. 64. So you put a four, carry the six. Eight times eight is 64 plus six is 70. So you put a zero, and then you should have a seven here, right? And then what did he do? He put the seven. He went ahead and put the seven here and didn't carry it, right? And then he worked eight times five and then put 40, right? Okay. All right, so let's look at Jermaine. What did he do wrong? So eight times eight is 64. So we put a four, carry the six. Eight times eight is 64. And add six, that is 70. So you put a zero and you carry the seven. So what did Jermaine do? So it said, how could you predict that Jermaine's answer might be incorrect using the estimate? Our estimate was 4,800, and Jermaine's answer wasn't quite close enough for it to be um, correct. And then they want us to find the correct answer. So we wrote 588 times 8. So you guys said 8 times 8 is what? 64. So we're going to put a 4, and here we are. <coughs> So then 8 times 8 is 64 plus 6 is 70. So we put a 0 in the 10 spot and carry a 7 to the 100 spot. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 7 is 47. So they actually spent $4,704.